Hello and welcome to the Turfway Park Report for Thursday, December 31st, day 15 of our holiday meeting here at Turfway Park. Nine live races on the card, as always, the polytrack labeled fast. First race is a maiden acclaimant event for fillies and mares. Scratch the five, Abby C's. Scratch the ten, Directioner. Morning line favorite, number two, Mohawk Lily with Jack Gilligan. They are off. And the first are living a prayer, spots the field about five, leaving the gate. There goes the favorite Mohawk Lily, who sprints on out. Blonde in the city, carrying the Donnemeyer Silks, is contending the pace to the outside. The lady scored on the class drops, racing third, about a length and a half off the pace. Then about a length, length and a half back to Ollie Mae, who comes away racing in fourth. Right to her outside, there's uh, Court the Sky, a length in front of Apple Addy, and a long way last after that blown start, living a prayer can see them all. As they went the opening quarter, 22-3, and three, and make their entrance to the far side of the course, to the inside of the favorite Mohawk Lily, shows the way by about a neck. Right up to her throat latch now goes Blonde in the city. These two are linked in front of the lady scored, who's inching an ever closer third. Here comes Ollie May, starting to make good headway from the back of the pack. Court the Storm is being scrubbed upon to keep face outside the quarter pole. Half mile 46 and 2, and Mohawk Lily drifts well off the rail, taking Blonde to the city to the center of the track. The lady score takes advantage of the rail spot and is trying to come on through. And down the center, Ollie May is coming with giant strides. Here's Ollie May to the outside of Blonde in the city, and Ollie May pushing on by as they race down towards the line. Ollie May and Rafael Mojica is going to break maiden here by about two in the end. Blonde in the city was second, late charge from the first year living a prayer to be in a photo with Court the Storm, running time 1. 12 and 1. Number four, Ollie May benefited from a fast early pace and ran on well down the center of the track to get up to break her maiden with Rafael Mojica Jr. in the irons. Number four, Ollie May returns $23, $9, 480. Finishing second, the sixth, Blonde in the City. Third, number three, Live in a Prayer. And fourth, the seven, Court the Storm. The Exacto was worth $107. The Dollar Super, $3,735. And fifty cents. The one dollar try, six hundred ten dollars thirty cents. Running time one twelve and one. The second race, claim an event to go six furlongs, no scratches. The early morning line favorite, number nine, Nifty Fifty from the Barna Marshall Gotzi, Gabe Lagunas rides. And they're off. And the starter called him in a perfect line. It's Super Cruiser who gets the first call, but a lot of pace in this race as Prayers Crescendo races up to the inside. To the far outside, there's Jarbo, Nifty Fifties up in the vanguard. Ocean Lane Plaza wants a piece of it early and trying to squeeze through up the fence. Silver Harley very well bunched as they're just outside the half mile pole. So up front, it's Casually Rock shows the way. Right to the outside, the favorite Nifty Fifty in the blue cap now pokes those white blinkers in front. Prayers Crescendo is being ridden to keep pace, try to keep that rail spot up to the outside. There's Uncle Tickles racing in fourth. From the back of the field, here comes Ocean Lane Plaza and Grand Slam Larry as the field midpoint through the turn. Then a length and a half, five boys is just crying out for racing room and tipping wide. Here comes M1 off that two-year layoff up to within four lengths of the leaders as they pass the quarter-mile pole, the half 46 and two, and they're on their way home. The favorite Nifty 50 spins them in. Down at the fence, Castle Rock starts the moonwalk, running on from the back. Here comes M1 in long shot, Jarbo, eighth of a mile left. It's Nifty 50 in front by four. Jarbo running on as is M1 as a race in deep stretch. Nifty 50, a beaten favorite and last, but makes amends today to win at six to five by three and a half in the end. Jarbo was second, long shot M1 third. Ocean Lane Plaza ran on to be fourth, running time 111 and three. Number nine, Nifty 50, was the easiest kind of winners. Wins as the favorite with Gabe Lagunas by about four in the end. Nifty 50 returns 463 dollars to 60. Number 10, Jarbo was second. Third was the 3M1. Fourth was 7, Ocean Lane Plaza. The exacto was worth $23.40. The try for $1.189.60. A $2 super comes back $12,815.60. The 10 cent super, $640 and some change. The early daily double, 4 and 9, returns $41.20. The third race is a claimant event to go six furlongs, scratch numbers 10, 13, and 14. Morning line favorite at 9 to 5, making a big class drop. Number six, once in my lifetime, Corey Orm was in the irons. They are off. And Aka Pesky wastes no time, goes right to the lead. Here's Borden Brave being hustled on out. 
and showing good early pace there is Bayless out. Through from between horses goes High Stakes, the length for the back. Down along the inside, Wakes Week has drawn within five lengths of the leader, five and a half furlongs still to go. Then a length for the back, the Mount Rasmore's up one spot, then comes the favorite once in my lifetime, trying to find racing room down along the fence, class ready, a length to Kid Chick. And at the tail of the field, the co-favorite Covey Boy will have to pass them all as the field bends into the first turn, 23 and one-fifth seconds. So long shot, board and brave at 45 to one, shows the way. Up to the outside, here comes High Stakes racing along in the second position. Bayless out, starts to moonwalk, starting to run on. From the back, here comes Oscar Pesky. Wakes Week trying to find a seam at the rail. And Class Ready, all dressed up with nowhere to go. Red Blinkers is checked for the third time as the field straightens for the stretch drive. They tack up five across the track as they spin for the money. And well off the rail, here's High Stakes has found the front. Oscar Pesky to the outside, starting to make good hayway from the back. Here comes Coverboy, and there's room at the fence. Finally, Class Ready has found the seam, but to the outside. Aka Pesky has found the front. Aka Pesky to the outside. Class ready. The inside lunging. These two to the wire. And Aka Pesky wins in a photo finish over Class ready. Running time 1, 12 and 3. Number 11, Aka Pesky. Swung widest of all, found good stride deep in stretch and hold on by the narrowest of margins to win for owner trainer Charlie Lawson. Number 11, Aka Pesky comes back $10, dollars 460 dollars Second was number three, Class Ready. Third, the nine, High Stakes. And fourth, number eight, Kid Chick. The Exacta was worth fifty six eighty. The fifty cent try one hundred forty nine dollars. The Superfecta eleven three nine eight that comes back four thousand nine hundred ninety six dollars eighty cents. The Daily Double thirty nine forty and the Early Pick three one hundred seventy one dollars and sixty cents. Tonight's fourth race is a claiming event to go six furlongs, scratch the three ship disturber, scratch 13 future slew, the morning line favorite from the Mike Maker Barn, number two War Ranger, leading rider Albin Jimenez in the irons. They're off. Tardy beginning for no small rewards, but one giant pleasure's on some gate speed swag. Up from the outside, disputed facts displaying some pace as well, and surely some early foot down along the fence goes Starship Phantom. In behind these comes Never Ceasing, one in front of the favorite War Ranger, who's fifth along the fence, about two and a half off the pace. Then a link to Foo Guard, flanked by Happy Vixen. Then comes Skip Away in Seattle, one in front of First Shadow. And at the back of the pack after that poor break, no small rewards. Has nothing but hind quarters and heels in the viewfinder as they bend into the turn the first quarter. 22 and 4 in the tearaway leader, Never Ceasing, opening him up midpoint through the turn in front by four. All out drive on the inside from one giant pleasure. Flank to the outside by Dark Diamond. Even further out, there's Disputed Fact. And the favorite War Ranger has about seven links to find. Tipped well off the rail as they straighten for the stretch run. It's Never Ceasing spins them in. Never Ceasing off the turn in front by four. To the outside, Fugard races on. Down to the inside, War Ranger is starting to make good headway. Less than an eighth. It's Never Ceasing trying to hold. Here's War Ranger probing up the fence. To the outside, Dark Diamond. It's Never Ceasing trying to hold. But War Ranger goes right on by. And War Ranger wins by a length that's now on a two-race win streak. Never ceasing was second. No small rewards. Ran on from the clouds to be third. One twelve flat. Number two, War Ranger unleashed a furious stretch rally to get up to win. For trainer Mike Maker, leading rider Alvin Jimenez was in the irons. War Ranger returns 380, 280, 240. Finishing second, number eight, never ceasing. Third, number four, no small rewards. And fourth was the 11, Dark Diamond. The exacta was worth 56 bucks. The Tri, $149. The Superfecta, $1,740.60. The Dollar Pick 4, the Early Pick 4 comes back $453.70. Today's fifth race is a maiden special weight for two-year-olds to go six and one-half for long, scratch 13 and 14. The morning line favorite first-time starter from the Mike Maker Bar number two twiz, Albin Jimenez, was in the irons. They are off. Lethargic beginning for Principo, but a rocket start to the outside for Tax Day. Through from an in between horses, Tavern on the Crow was away alertly, and now best out of the block as they straighten up onto the main track goes Terrazzo. So Terrazzo on the inside, in the middle, there's Tavern on the Crow stacked up three deep, comes Tax Day. These three are in length in front. Racing to the outside, Roberts Rogue in between horses. Tismatize is keen to go on, tugging hard against the jock. And coming up gamely, the firster big squeeze is trying to sneak through on the fence as they pass the half mile coal, 22 and four. So it's Terrazzo who leads him into the far turn run. 
There's room at the fence for Big Squeeze to come on through, but that one's being ridden to keep pace. Tavern on the Crow whips out out now. There's Robert Rogue three deep and starting to loop up wide for the drive. Here comes Tisma Ties as the half mile was 46 and two, and they're on their way home. It's Terrazzo well off the rail. Big Squeeze is being ridden. There's room at the fence, and Osorio takes advantage as they straight for the stretch run. It's Terrazzo coming down on top of Big Squeeze, trying to race ride that one, running on from the back. Here comes Robert Rogue and Tisma Ties racing erratically in deep stretch. Terrazzo has the lead. Angled off the rail. Here's Big Squeeze coming at him for one final charge. Not going to get to him. Terrazzo is a maiden no more. Big Squeeze was second. Twiz was third. Tismatize fourth. One, 17 and four. Number four, Terrazzo made the lead shortly after the start, was able to control the pace and take them all the way to win for trainer Joe Davis, owners Neil and Fred McCrary. Alex Contreras was along for the ride. Number four, Terrazzo returns $880, $443. Finishing second was the eight big squeeze, third number two twiz. The exacta was forty nine eighty. The trifecta combination four eight two returned seventy dollars ten cents for a dollar wager. The superfecta combination was four eight two ten, and that returns four hundred forty five bucks. The daily double of two and four returned seventeen twenty, and the pick three for a buck eighty seven dollars and sixty cents. Race six is a claiming event for Phillies and Mares, which have not won three races lifetime. They'll race five eighths of a mile, scratch numbers four, eight, and ten. The morning line favorite from the barn of Steve Fosdick, number three, Cooper's Keeper, Rodney Prescott has the call. They are off, and the starter caught him in a perfect line. It's Nanjing Rose sending on out, quick in his stride. Uh, goes amazing, summit and bouncing out of the box in between horses. Cooper's Keeper. Up on the outside, there is Wow Baby, a length in front of Zen Zelda, then a length back to Krista's Rose. And last away, Bonnie Blue Eyes has about seven lengths to find as they blitz into the turn just about three-eighths of a mile from home. So up front, no twist in the plot. As expected, Cooper's Keeper shows the way by the narrowest of margins. The first quarter, 22 and three-fifths seconds. Just outside the quarter pole here, Cooper's Keeper flanked by Nanjing Road. These two will spin in a length in front of Miss Catwood, who's under a all out jive. They stack up three across the track, just outside the eighth pole. It's Cooper's Keeper being shaken up by Prescott. Nanjing Rose trying to battle on. Here's Malcolm Franklin to the outside with Miss Catwood and running on from the back with good strides. Here comes Zen Zelda. A 16th out, Cooper's Keeper trying to hold, and Cooper's Keeper will. Cooper's Keeper's now on a two-race win streak, scores by about a length and a half in the end. Tight photo for second between Miss Catwood and a late charge from Zen Zelda. 59 seconds, the running time. Number three, Cooper's Keeper. Another front-end victory here. Back-to-back -back wins here at Turfway Park for Brad Wade-Rodder, Steve Fosdick, Jockey Rodney Prescott. Number three, Cooper's Keeper, returns uh, 620, 360, 260. Finishing second was number 11, Miss Catwood. Third, number six, Zen Zelda. And fourth was nine, Nanjing Road. The exacta was worth $27. The dollar super, 114 even. The pick three for a buck, 35, 60. The daily double, 41, 20. Today's seventh race is a maiden special weight for Philly two-year-olds. Full field of 12 will go one mile. Morning line favorite from the highly powerful barn of Ben Colebrook, number 11, American Doll, Albin Jimenez, has the call. They are off. Slight lethargic beginning from Thump, but hustled on out. There goes Patty's Mischief. Through from the inside, Street Thunder tightening up on Valida. Out there about four or five deep goes Vern's Mocha Rose as they race into the clubhouse turn. Stuck out about five or six wide is Hollywood Tomcat. Down along the inside of that one is Mallory's Channel. Then a length back to taken up there was Quiet Score, one in front of Princess Drossy. And then back to the two trailers, a first rate proposal. And at the tail of the field, Daisy Royale can see them all. They straighten up the back shots. About six furlongs left to go the first quarter, 23 and 3 fifths seconds. And up front, it's Patty's Mitchiff on the stretch out. Out the five-star day Philly shows the way by about a length. Tracking in the second position, but keen to go on. Vern's Mocha Rose is tugging hard at Jockey Perry Utes. Breezing up to the east comes uh, Hollywood Tomcat tightening up in third. Out there four deep, still stuck out wide, comes first-rate proposal. The only for the back starting to run on and make good hayway because Thump, as they pass the half mile pole of first half in a fast 47 in four fixed seconds, and they make their way into the far turn run. So it's Patty's mischief as so far shouldered the load, breezing up to the outside. Here's Hollywood Tomcat even further out, Vern's Mocha Rose, and down along the inside, just waiting for a seam comes Street Thunder and tipping four wide. Here comes first rate proposal just inside the quarter pole now as the field straightens for the stretch run. Three quarters, 113 and one, and they're on their way home. 
It's still Patty's Mischief shaking up to the outside. Here comes American Doll in first rate proposal. Still stubborn Hollywood Tomcat will not go away. Down the stretch, 16th of a mile to go. It's absolutely wide open and quiet score. Maybe going best of all. It's Hollywood Tomcat to the inside. American Doll stubborn. Here's quiet score and a photo with Princess Drossy. A blanket finish at Turf Lay in 139 and 3. Number five, quiet score. Knifed her way between horses and grinded out a victory here, giving Rodney Prescott two straight wins. Number five, quiet score, returns $25.80, $12, and six twenty. dollars Finishing second was number six, Princess Drossy. Third, number 11, American Doll. And fourth was the nine, Hollywood Tomcat. The exacta for a buck, $104.30. The $1 try, $1,113.20. That daily double, three and five, $67.80. The pick three, $146. Note that 50 cent trifecta, $556.60. Running time, one thirty-nine and three. Tonight's eighth race is an allowance event for horses haven't won a race other than or a claiming price of $25,000. They'll go one and one sixteenth miles named the Turfway TikTok Trot. A few scratches, scratch 5, 10, 11, 13, and 14. Morning line favorite, last year's runner-up in the Bataglia, number eight, Pepperoni with Albin Jimenez for Mike Maker. Renegade. And they're off. Good even beginning for all. Pepperoni was aptly away, away keenly from the inside. There goes Snicker Boxer, an expeditious beginning for Need More Cash. The stake winner will lead him into the first turn run. So Need More Cash shows of the way. Snicker Boxer to the outside. Three deep. There goes Spinning for Home. Four deep. Pepperoni and way out there wide. Major Derby took the worst of it. And behind them comes Belvin and then Candy Charger and No Funny Biz. Is outpaced early, just outside the six furlong marker. The first quarter mile up on the board, 24 and 3 fifth seconds. So it's the Indiana Bread Stake winner, Need More Cash. Leads them past the five and a half pole in front by a half a length. Being pressured to the outside by Snicker Boxer. Spinning for home is being shoved up on uh, in between horses. Out. Proud Max is taking a snug hold there. And also Belvin keen to go on. Prescott has that one in hand. Then a length for the back. There comes Candy Charger. And last, no funny biz, has always been outpaced. That Half mile, 49 seconds flat, starting to bunch up. The field only covered by about seven lengths now. Need more cash. Took him through the first half in 49 seconds flat. Snicker Boxer has been pressing that one the entire way. Is being ridden to keep pace with still three furlongs still to run. And looping up, here comes the favorite Pepperoni to make it three wide just outside the quarter pole. So three quarters clicked off, one thirteen and one. And they approach the top of the stretch to the inside. Need more cash is not done. To the outside, Pepperoni turning up the pressure. Looping up four wide, Candy Charger as they straighten for the stretch drive. It's need more cash. Cash to the inside, Pepperoni to the outside. These two laying on each other, then a long way back to Candy Charger and running on from the back. Belvin has found clear sail and deep stretch here. Pepperoni to the outside, but need more cash. Stubborn to the inside, but Pepperoni pulls away late to win by a length in the end. Need more cash was second, Belvin was third, and Candy Charger ran on to be fourth. Running time, 144 and 2 fifth seconds. Number eight, Pepperoni. Grinded out a victory to take race number eight. Well prepared off the layoff by trainer Mike Maker. Gives Maker and Jimenez both a double on the card. Pepperoni, as your favorite, returns $443 to $20. Finishing second was the two need more cash. Third, number one, Belvin. And fourth, the nine, Candy Charger. The $1 exactly was worth $8.10. The 50 cent try, $15.40. And the $1 daily double, $33.60. Running time for race eight, one, 44 and two. Ninth and final race from Turfway Park. Claim an event to go one mile. Scratch numbers two, five, 13, and 14. Morning line favorite, the class dropper, number 10, Eternal Ruler, C.H. Marquez rides for trainer Matt Cordenbrock. They are off. Silver Crescent stumbled leading the starting gate, but it was a clean start today for no crime. Inside of him, El Mango Troppo's being hustled on out. Brother Stewart's being asked to keep pace early. And hugging that rail spot into that clubhouse turn comes Royal Alluvial. Then a link for the back taken in hand is the four-year-old Fiery Dream midpoint through the turn. That one is one in front of Roll and Shine out there wide in the course. Then a separation of three comes by with Gold and Bassoon. And then out there wide, Silver Crescent. 
And last away, the favorite, Eternal Ruler, is last, but only about 10 lengths off the pace as they straighten for the backstretch run. 24-1 and one was the opening quarter, so a hot and contested pace up front. They're three across the track. From the inside, Il Mango Tropo. In between horses, there's Brother Stewart. Out there three deep, no crime. The eight-time polytrack winner is just right off the leaders. Then a separation of four back to... Uh, a deal alluvial as they pass the half mile the first half 47 and three fifths seconds so it's ill mango tropo has been pestered by 13 time winner brother stewart no crimes out there three deep keeping pace here comes brother stewart rather roll and shine breezing up with perry Utes and, and fiery dream and uh, starting to unwind from the back here comes eternal ruler eternal ruler is picking them off one by one and seems to be moving best of all as they straighten for the stretch drive they stack up five across the track and to the outside there's the favorite eternal Eternal Ruler spins him in. Eternal Ruler off the turn in front by two. Brother Stewart being all outridden. Here's Roland Shine trying to hang on. Running from the back. Fiery Dreams looking to spoil the super high five. Deep stretch here. Eternal Ruler. Then it's Roland Shine running on. Here's Fiery Dream. But no doubt Eternal Ruler was best of all. Roland Shine second. Fiery Dream third. No Crime was fourth. And Silver Crescent completed your super high five in one thirty-eight and one. Number 10, Eternal Ruler, rallied from far back to get up to win it for Matt Kornbrock. Tiki Marquez is along for the ride. The favorite returns $480, $323. Second, number 12, Roland Shine. Third was the 6, Fiery Dream. Fourth goes 8, no crime. The exacta was worth $26.80. The trifecta, $145.60. And the Super 5, High five was hit. A dollar ticket comes back $5,176.60. Well, that wraps up live racing for this New Year's Eve card. Live racing returns tomorrow, Friday evening, with the first post of 615.